ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh, the come time. on now. You all don't feel like that. Hey, kids. I am back. Oh, it is so fucking cold outside. It's like negative 8,000 degrees. So all you pinkos that think we're having global warming, come to Ohio. And this isn't even north. Anyway, just wanted to say, I am doing an overview of the cicada, okay? Uh, and I'm not, I'm doing this because I use them. And a lot of the guys in the club and Patriot Blades and my friends uh, are using these more and more now. And uh, I wanted to just go over it real quick so everybody knows. This is a great all-in-one solution, I think, okay? I sometimes use bullet-style ESCs, and I sometimes use all-in-ones. I usually don't use just the four-in-one unless it's on a micro. That's just how I am. Uh, to give you an example, you guys might have seen the review on this guy, the, the uh, steroid bill. This one's running a cicada. Look at that. Bam! Look at that shit. Hey, nothing but a peanut, man. I gotta put my receiver in here because a good... I built this and uh, a good brother of mine in the club bought this, uh, Shiloh. So he's going to be getting this hopefully this week and I'll stick a receiver in there for him. But anyway, this one's running a cicada. The only drawback to these all-in-ones, you guys remember the build I did on the Jadina, okay? My way overpriced limousine Porsche of quads. This one's running an Alpha, fuck, what is that thing? It's a Lumineer Alpha. Uh, it's got BL Heli 32 bit, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't love this one because the USB port is way the hell up here. I pretty much have to take my camera out to get into there, right? This one, kind of the same thing. The USB is in the very back. Bam, like that. So if you look at the ass of this guy, you cannot get to it. So in order to do this, and actually what I'm going to do before I give this to Shiloh, because I haven't set this one up yet, I'm going to pop this out, and I'm actually going to grind the back side of the standoff down with my Dremel tool, so it's got like a nice divot. So right now it's touching that, and I don't like that, so I'm going to fix that. You can't see it. There you go. Bam. Um, and I need to plug it in. So yeah, it's something you really can't avoid. I wish there was a way they would just put it right here, maybe, but... I haven't found one yet that does that. If you're using an all-in-one, let's see, all-in-one ESC. Here's the Hypermod uh, Mocha Simplex Pro. Um, this one I just use bullet ESCs, nothing super fancy. Um, but this is a bird that was built uh, just quickly and it, it's nice, I love it. But this one's got bullets, so it's a little bit more simplistic. Uh, this one, remember the Berserker? This one also has the Cicada, okay? I like it so far. It's it's a nice, I've used them before. I know I haven't flown much lately. Um, no heat issues. It's got a three amp, five volt back in it, okay? Therefore, you can run your camera, you can run your VTX, um, you can run, you know, because I run five volt VTXs uh, without having any brownouts, which is very, very good. That's something you wanna look at. This one is also an F4, so it runs 8.8 on the PID. PID loop and gyro and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. S bus, all that good shit. Motor one, two, three, four, which we all know that. Uh, it is an Omnibus F4, basically, is what's built into here, which is one of my favorite boards in the world. The solder joints look really good. Have had no problems with that with the leads. The leads do come pre installed. I think. Hang on a minute. Shit. Yeah. I thought I still had one in the bag. I think I do. I just don't know where the hell it's at. Anyway, here's two. <laughs> I got a lot of builds coming up. So, um, Anyway, I think if I remember right, they come with standoffs. I think. Uh, but they do not come with the XT60. So you will have to provide that. If you look at the label, it's got the buzzer negative, buzzer positive. Five volts. I don't know if you can see this. Five volts, ground, video out, ground, video in. S bus, five volt and ground. So it's labeled pretty well, but unfortunately, to get this thing in your bird, you gotta take this off. At least I do, because I'm old and stupid. So, bam, let's do this. Real nut but a peanut. Take this shit off. Man, I just turned off my heater. It's gonna get colder than witches in here. All right, so, but underneath the skin, this is why you wanna pull this off. 
you've got 3a, 3b, 3c. Where the hell is it? Here, Rx and Tx6. So receive and transmit number six, which is UART6. So if you want to use smart port, you're going to solder that smart port wire right there. Okay. Now, be careful because if you hit these with solder, game over. It's going to be a problem. Um, let's see. Five volt, another five volt, another ground. Three amp, five volt. So you got another power output here. Uh, your LED signal here and an RSSI if you're going analog RSSI. Uh, so yeah, it does have all these good little things, but you have to take off that label to see it. Great, great unit. It weighs, I'm not even going to weigh it. It's a fucking board, guys. You know, let's not get gay about it. Awesome, awesome board. Um, I read a couple reviews where people were having problems. I haven't had any, um, but I haven't beat them to death either. But I don't know. I think for the money... Those of you that are looking on Banggood, uh, there's a Racer Star F4, same principle as this. Only it's actually more geared towards the Alpha, I think, because it's got the USB port right here. Um, this is the same thing, pretty much. And you can get it in the States a whole lot cheaper. I get mine from GetFPV. And uh, it's the exact same price as the Racer Star. 60 I want to say 64 bucks. Eh, I don't know. So if you're looking to do a really clean build, guys, this is the way to go. Uh, solder pads are nice. No problems there. You can't really solder on the bottom side too well. You can. Um, you got to get a little bit of heat in there. It's got the surface mounted boot button, which is always nice if you need that, which most of us don't. There's your arrow for direction. If you can't figure that out, you got bigger fucking problems. So anyway... There you go. There's the Cicada All-in-One, kids. Bam! Very fucking cool. This is what I use in most of my gallery builds that I built. You know, the really fancy shit where I don't want the ESCs on the on the top mounts of the board or arms. Great, great solution. So, to all you kids that are concerned about that or want to know more about it, you can use smart port telemetry. There is a solder point for it. It's got everything you need. Bam! Beauty. I have not noticed any noise problems with it. Um, not through video anyway, so everything seems, you know, dynamic braking, all that shit's good. So, boom, boom, boom. Keep shining side up, kids. Talk later. Bye. Bam, JJ! Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing. <laughs>